I've always felt for a number of years now, guys, that Phase 5, the recruitment challenge, the, the pretty much the biggest recruitment challenge in, you know, the history of gaming, uh, I always thought that this was a recruitment challenge that kept trickshotting and sniping alive in the Call of Duty community. So, when you look at Call of Duty as a whole, it's a massive game. Then when you look at the sniping aspect as well as the trickshotting aspect, you get smaller and smaller, kind of a niche genre within the Call of Duty space. And Phase 5, every time that it would come out, which a couple of times, and then of course they had the Phase 1 recruitment challenge, it seemed that that was almost this saving grace for the community. It would keep on, you know, bringing the community back in a major way. Everyone would go for, for the recruitment challenge, trying to, tr you know, trying their best to join the team. And I think that then that kind of sparked other teams doing recruitment challenges and things of that nature, but it was never the same because we have recruitment challenges still going on to this day based around the Call of Duty community, the Fortnite community, and none of it is nearly as big as what Phase 5 is. And so... In this segment of the show, I want to talk about what Phase 5 will do for the community at large. And when I say community, guys, I'm not only going to be talking about Call of Duty, I'm going to be talking about Fortnite, we're going to be talking about the stream community, the content creation community, because I believe that they're going to be trying to incorporate all of these different pieces into the next recruitment challenge. So, Basically, guys, I think when we when we look at the grand landscape of gaming, things have evolved since the last Phase 5. We've, of course, have, you know, Fortnite has come out. Phase 5 the, the, was going to be a all-Fortnite recruitment challenge that, you know, a video came out with Banks, Rain, and Adapt stating that they were going to do an all-Fortnite Phase 5. And then that video got deleted, I believe, and then, you know, it never saw the light of day. Well, the question now is, is, is it going to be Fortnite incorporated into it, even though, you know, Phase 5 traditionally has been always Call of Duty? And regardless of way, the way you look at it, when this recruitment challenge does come out, it's going to bring the entire community, and when I say community, the gaming community as a whole, together to try to join this, one of the biggest esports and, and just gaming teams in the world. So, I think if you're talking about trick shining and sniping, if they announce that Phase 5, they're going to recruit one trick shotter and one sniper to the team, uh, I would say that there is going to be a massive amount of people going for the recruitment challenge as a trick shotter or sniper. If they announce that they're going to recruit a Fortnite player or two, then there's going to be tons of people in the Fortnite community going for the recruitment challenge. Probably everybody on Fortnite is going to be going for it. And then if they say that there's going to be, you know, they're going to recruit a streamer as well as a content creator, all of those people, streamers and content creators, are going to be doing whatever it is they need to in order to try to join the team. And so what I'm getting at here, guys, this is a recruitment challenge because none of the real big teams out there really do recruitment challenges, right? You look at teams like, you know, Optic and you know, now energy and, you know, even now phase, it's been a while since they did one. A lot of these teams that are big esports organizations, Team Liquid, TSM, and, and, you know, the list goes on and on. You can look at all the biggest teams out there and they, none of them do any types of recruitment challenges. They all just recruit, you know, esports players. And then a lot of times those esports players be turned into personalities. And so, I think that this is a really special way uh, that the community has an opportunity to join a, a, a huge team, and um, I really hope that they go through with it, first of all, because we've been hearing for years rumblings that Phase 5 was coming back, and then we would basically just be teased, and then uh, nothing would come of it. Now, I know that the logistics behind Phase 5 have got to be absolutely astronomical. I think now, though, that they have Nissan as a partner for this, or you know, they're sponsoring Phase 5, it looks like. Uh, that that should you know kind of hopefully relieve some of the stress that it kind of this recruitment challenge puts on everyone over at phase but nonetheless will it do uh like huge things for the community and what exactly is it going to do i mean guys it's it's going to bring the entire call of duty community together in a major way, especially the trick shine sniping communities, if they decide to recruit a trick shine sniper, the Fortnite community, lots of, you know, talk about, you know, with Fortnite, like just back and forth, people like Fortnite, people hate Fortnite now, things have been changing all the time within the game. 
But nonetheless, if this recruitment challenge comes out and they're going to be looking for a, a, a Fortnite player or two, uh, everyone's going to be going for it. I'll tell you that right now. And so I think what it's going to do for gaming as a whole is something really special. I really do. Because I think you're going to see the gaming world, the esports world, everything's going to come together for this recruitment challenge because everyone's going to want to join the team, right? Everyone is. I mean, everyone's going to be trying to go for the recruitment challenge, whatever that may be. Uh, all the logistics and the things of that nature that that go into Phase 5 and what it is that they decide ultimately uh, what direction they want to go down. I think it's going to be a huge ordeal for the community, guys. Now, is it going to revive Trickshine and Sniping in a major way like after the recruitment challenge? They're gonna, it's going to keep the community alive for years to come? I don't know about that, but it's certainly going to bring it back for a period in time. Let me know, though, guys. Are you going to be going for Phase 5? And if so, what are you hoping to go for the recruitment challenge as? Like a streamer, a content creator, a player, Trickshire, Sniper? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more Phase 5 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.